Hey, wait, I've seen this before. What is this sport called? What's up, my name is Aaron, and I'm here to talk to you today about a sport called trials. Now, this is a sport where the objective is to use your bicycle to navigate through obstacles, to work through problem solving on your bike, and the whole time not putting your feet down to balance yourself. The best riders in the world can balance their bike indefinitely on either their front or back wheel. They can hop huge distances and just basically levitate on their bike to make things happen. And today I'm gonna to share with you all kinds of information about exactly what that is, both how to start learning it and also how to enjoy the sport and see even more of what's out there. Because I can confirm YouTube is loaded with a bunch of amazing trials videos. When I first started riding, YouTube didn't even exist. In fact, we used to have VHS tapes that we would trade with one another and we would watch each video in slow motion to try to figure out what the rider was doing. And that's kind of how we learned. Back then I watched this rider named Ot P because he was the best at technique. And now you could just flip on Instagram and he's right there and you can see everything that he's doing. The fact that there is YouTube and there's all these resources that I'm gonna run through with you is just amazing. I wish I had all this stuff when I first started riding. Another thing that's really unique about trials and can be kind of confusing for someone coming in for the first time is there are about four different kinds of bikes that you can ride in this sport. So there's the 20 inch mod bike, which is usually used for competition. You've got really small wheels. The bike is super purpose built. It doesn't have a seat. Then you could have a 24 inch wheeled street bike, which is kind of the main one people are riding on street doing manuals and bunny hops and all that stuff. You can also have a 26 inch street bike, which is just a modified version of that 24 inch. It's got a seat, it's got all the stuff that you need, but it feels the most like a normal bike. And then you have a 26 inch competition bike, which is a lot like the mod bike. It doesn't have a seat. It's got the 26 inch wheels, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It looks like a stick holding the two wheels together. So there are a lot of different variations in the bike you can ride, but the theme, what you're doing on the bike is essentially the same. So going a little bit deeper into the different styles of bikes, there's really kind of two different disciplines of trials that are forming. There's this competition side and there's the street side. So it's kind of like seats versus no seats. Although there are a few people that ride street with no seat and there are people who ride competition with no seat, it's the easiest way to kind of tell the two apart. The competition riders are usually riding on rocks and logs, real natural terrain. They're doing big technical moves. And then the street riders are rolling along, they have seats, they're kind of linking stuff together in a real smooth way. Both styles kind of started out the same way and it's really fun to see the directions that each are going. And occasionally some riders from the competition scene will come out on street rides and vice versa. It's so fun to watch the two, but really those are the two main styles of videos you're gonna see on the internet, the street riding style and the competition style. You're also gonna see a lot of the same movements on each bike. So the traditional movements on a trials bike are hopping on the back wheel, gapping between obstacles, the side hop, which is basically levitating the bike up, and all that stuff, jumping up to back wheel. When you move into some of the newer techniques that most of the competition riders are kind of pioneering, it's a lot more stuff with the front wheel. They're gapping to the front wheel, they're hooking their front wheel over stuff and then jumping up onto it, or they're jumping straight up to that front wheel and just boosting up massive obstacles. One thing that I also wanna mention is that although this seems like an obscure sport that you only find on YouTube, it's actually part of the UCI, which does the world championships for every single kind of discipline of riding bikes. So this is a sport that you can be world champion at. There's all kinds of competitions all over the world and it's official. I'm going to run you through a lot of information and just so you know, there are all the links that you're looking for below this video, but let's dive right into it. There are three different tutorial channels on YouTube. There's this channel, this is the shred spot where we make everything happen. There's the useless trials and then Ali Clarkson who also does some vlog content also does quite a few tutorial videos as well. Beyond that, there's the Shindig Podcast. It's two guys from the UK who interview everyone in the sport from the guys who got it started like Ot P and Hans Ray and everybody, all the way up to the latest riders who are winning the UCI events and, and really just blowing it up on the internet. On top of that, we've got the Bash Guardian. Bash Guardian is an online magazine that has all kinds of really in-depth articles that I really love reading. They talk about, you know, 
what to do in the gym and there's a, a coach who goes really deep into the data and builds off that. There's kind of a highlight section. There's so much stuff in there that's really fun to dig through and they publish once a month. Really worth checking out. So if you've seen trials on YouTube at all up to this point, there's a great chance it was probably Danny McCaskill or Fabio Widmer, Ali Clarkson. His channel is one of the biggest trials channels out there next to those guys and he does a ton of weekly vlogs, a lot of tutorials like I mentioned before and honestly a big inspiration for this channel. Moving on from there, you should definitely check out Charlie Rolls. Junior world champion, definitely making things happen in the UK. Exciting to see what he does. Check out Jack Carthy, nine time world champion. I mean, this guy is unbelievable on a bike. Check out Hans Ray and Jeff Lenoski, two guys who really helped bring trials to the mainstream when it came to mountain biking. Check out Flip, this guy rides trials without brakes. Can we all just take a second and appreciate what he's doing here and how absolutely ridiculous this is? There's Tomomi Nishikubo. He's a street rider from Japan, but he's done a bunch of incredible videos so far and just signed with Red Bull, so the future is definitely bright for him. Or Vittorio Brumati, this Italian rider who rides on kind of this road bike setup. He used to be in the competition side and he's definitely the most famous bike rider in Italy. On top of that, you definitely need to go look at Martin Ashton's road bike party, both the first one and the second one. Martin Ashton has done so much for the sport of trials on a global scale and it's so cool to see what he was able to do for this video and yeah, just anything Martin Ashton is amazing. Now beyond that, there's actually a lot of riders who have both a YouTube and an Instagram following. There's guys like Duncan Shaw. Duncan has the Drop and Roll podcast and he does a ton of demos and videos with Dan McCaskill. Those guys are absolutely crushing it. You gotta check out Ot P's Resurgence on Instagram. Kenny Belay is up next and this guy is doing everything from art to NBA shows to you name it. Absolutely crushing it. Even though he's not competing anymore, there's so much more ahead for Kenny. Definitely the next rider I wanna highlight is this guy Yuki Kishi. He does all these incredible tech tricks on this uh, 22 inch bike. It's just amazing to watch what he's able to get done. If you're in the mood for some one-stop shopping, maybe just go to the Inspired Bicycles Instagram account. They have all their riders on here and it's like every day there's some ridiculous clip that gets posted. Last, but certainly not least, Vincent Hermans. This guy's the goat of trials competition. He's a French guy who absolutely crushed it. He's got a too many world titles to count and he's still going super, super strong. So what are some things that I would tell a beginner rider? The first thing I would say is that practice makes progress. This sport, you have to start small and you stack on and you stack on and it grows very quickly, but you have to just keep practicing. You're not gonna learn any of these tricks instantly and you have to be patient and let it come to you. The next thing I would say is that all the skills that you learn as a rider when you're learning trials will actually benefit every other kind of bike riding that you do. The bike handling skill that you'll get from trials has a massive impact on your technical riding ability when it comes to mountain biking, for example. The last thing I would say is that you could learn this on any bike. You can get started on whatever bike you're riding right now. You don't need to have a street trials bike. You don't need to have a competition bike. Do they make things easier down the line? Absolutely, but just looking through even the videos I've listed ahead of this, there are all kinds of people riding all kinds of different bikes to make it happen. There's people doing it on full suspension mountain bikes. There's people doing it on road bikes. It's totally possible to get the foundation in place on whatever bike you're riding right now. However, if you are in the market for a bike, I would probably look for Inspired. I would look at Jitsi, Clean, Krukers, or Echo. Those are kind of the main brands that make the most specific trials bikes. If you're looking for a place to find them, I would probably start with Tardy Bikes. They're based in the UK, but they ship worldwide. If you're in the States, you could get from Web Cyclery, you could get from Trial Superstore. There's a Spanish website called Trial-Bikes. And then of course, there's Trials Addict in the UK. There are plenty more, which I will also link below, but those are the ones I would probably start with. Hey, one thing I wanna note, I'm not sponsored by any of the brands I listed or any of the shops that I listed out either. I've used almost every single one over the last two decades and I just wanna share the information that I've learned with you. Two things that are relatively new to trials, there's a Twitch channel that I host where we go through all the techniques live. So if you have questions about riding and you wanna learn more about the sport, you can come to the channel and check it out and 
We'll talk you through everything that you're trying to learn. There's an awesome crew that's there that hangs out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. And the other thing is that we just started a Discord server, which I'll also link below that you can join in and meet a lot of other trials riders. One quick piece of practical advice I would share is don't forget your helmet, maybe rock some gloves, and definitely think about some shin guards. There's a reason why the most popular podcast in this sport is the Shindig podcast. So there are links below to all the stuff that I just ran through. And all I wanna to say to you is don't wait. Start riding trials right now. Start right here with this video. Get the basics in place and let's ride.